Now let me tell you about one of the things I find most charming about your site and your reviews. There's this unusual mix between extreme passion for the subject and curiosity and, and drive to, to get the books and track what's coming out and reading them and then a lot about how other people are reviewing the books. So mm. if one reads your site, they don't just get you, you get a whole broad panoply of other yes. reviews. Yes. It's one of the most valuable things. But then on the other hand, you're very hard to impress as a reader. <laughs> so just to, you give these short capsules of your reviews. Here are three of your more recent ones. <laughs> oh dear. And I quote, passable ultralight fair. Here's another one, typical Carlotto tale of justice in a flawed world. So there's something reductionist. Or here's one you were very enthusiastic, quote, nicely done. Now I know those are shorter capsules for broader, more detailed reviews. Yes. But this mix between like the, the blase and the enthusiasm and how willing you are to just retreat into like, eh. And well, then that's what I find so intriguing about Literary Saloon. Is, is there anything you would say to that? Uh, yeah, well, I, I hope people use the site in that way. Uh, it, it, in a way, my reviews presuppose familiarity with the site. I assume that people, you know, they look up a couple of reviews and they get an idea of what this person is doing. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the capsule reviews, I think, are a um, uh, sort of counterbalance also to the longer reviews, uh, in which often I will be more enthusiastic or, uh, I mean, this, this <laughs> ultralight uh, novel, I gave it a B, I said, because it, it, it's, competent, it's perfectly competently done, uh, but it's just a, a vacuous, uh, problematic, um, you know, there's, there's so little to it. But it's still, it's, it's perfectly readable. Uh, and I, I hope I explained that fully in the review itself. No, you did. But uh, one of the uh, things which I also, I mean, the, the original idea behind the site was uh, to be able to link to other reviews. Uh, and also, the, I have the review quotes from the major review publications where there are review quotes available, uh, which I actually did sort of as a countermeasure to because I was so irritated by the blurbs you find on the back of like the paperback edition which are not at all representative of the reviews of the book. So I wanted to give an honest, I wanted to give the honest blurbs of the reviews. Um, but it's always been important to me that, uh, you know, my opinion is my opinion, and you really should seek out as many as different ones as possible. And um, to be able to give access to all these different reviews, to point readers to, because readers, some readers rely on a certain reviewer, and so if I can uh, give them the link to that for this book so, so that they will get an opinion which uh, perhaps is more informative to, to them than mine can be because they don't see eye to eye with me, uh, I think that's a very important thing. And having as many different opinions as possible, um, to me that always seems beneficial. I, I realize now we, you know, we have this issue of whether the wisdom of crowds really is wisdom. <laughs> and whether it doesn't just overcomplicate matters as well. Um, but it's, it's always been important to me that, you know, I have very strongly held opinions, but, you know, please also consider the other opinions. Because